the work of Arbo Part is referred sometimes even by himself with very architectural terms like light or geometry or rhythm. Questions that are architectural, there are also uh, the music and specifically the music of Arbo Part. Well, the building uh, starts from, I would say, two different uh, parallel uh, points. On one hand is the landscape itself. We are in a landscape which is on the one hand so pregnant, so uh, present. A landscape that I have to say uh, we had not visited at the time we did the first sketches. So we had to imagine how these very large trees in the middle of the woods near the sea could be. So in a way it was also a way of reading a place from a distance uh, and that was uh, from the very beginning a key point. We thought that the building should somehow blend into the landscape and this is the beginning of it. It's also the reason it's a building with curves. It's a building that has not square angles that immediately give you a clue of the, sc of the scale of a building. The curve does not allow you to understand where the building starts or finish. It never finishes, it never starts. That's one point. The other thing is about the relation to the voids and silence in music of our part that we have somehow represent with the patios, the, 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 the courtyards that uh, have a geometry. And this geometry is a combination of the same form. So between this uh, courtyard system and the free form in the landscape, the building started to grow. The building at the end should be uh, definitely, if it is successful, as I hope, uh, something that belongs to the landscape of Laulasma, which is a very specific wood, freeform, sea, horizontal, vertical place. <laughs>